good morning it's 6 15 a.m right now that golden light is really coming through welcome to my new humble abode i am drinking some lemon water you guys know the routine i have some laundry in the wash and i'm about to do some yoga and work out a little but i have a surf lesson at 8 a.m and then i have a call at 11 and another call at 12 a video that i really need to put some good hours in and hopefully finish today that i've been working on for the past two weeks and then i am meeting with some friends potentially later i'm in my new place my new home And every time that I move to a new place, I have to get used to the sounds of the house and the sounds of the environment, but I'm not at that place yet, so I am extremely sleep deprived. I just hear leaves crunching outside my window and I'm in bed like, what is that? <laughs> but in reality, it's just a chicken or some boar sniffing for food and absolutely no reason to be afraid. But I woke up at midnight last night and I walked outside just to double check because I heard something. And then I tried again to go back to sleep. I felt little things tickling my toes and like my arm and my face. And in my last apartment, in my last home, I felt something tickling my toes. And it was a cockroach this big, like actually this big. And I freaked out just because I don't want cockroaches in my bed. I can hang with seeing them around the space but not in my bed it's been fine here so far so i just need to adjust and get comfortable but i am very sleep deprived but i've already done a lot more talking than i normally like to do in the morning this is the look for today i have this second hand rash guard on from Poshmark and then I'm just wearing some sweatpants that my friend gave me. These are perfect for after surfing because they're so thin and light. Let's go out into the world. Surfing went really well. It's so exhilarating to stand up on your board and catch a wave. Even if it's for seven seconds, just Gliding with the water feels so good. It's so addicting and exhilarating. Okay, I gotta hop on this call. saw my last vegan food video then you know that I really like to pray over my food before I eat it and I thought that I would let you guys listen in on my prayers today just so that you can get an idea of what I say may this food remind me of the depth of love that I am worthy of receiving may it bring me back to my center and to the conscious witnessing of all things and remind me that I am complete and I am capable and I have so much overflowing love to share with the world. going on a camping trip this weekend it's Thursday today and I think I'm leaving tomorrow morning do you want it on your forehead no my shit's oily okay. <laughs> it's 8 a.m and i stayed up all night why did I do this before a three-day camping trip? Well, I wanted to get my video up because I'm trying to stay on a schedule, so it's uploading right now. And I just wanted to show you what I'm looking at. This is what I did not wake up to, but what I saw as the sun began to rise. Wow. 
Yeah. You look so happy. Is that it? the camping area and we're gonna get some firewood. Firewood? Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> Hi vlog. It, I don't even know what time it is. Look, you can literally see the sky like so well on this camera. Wow, La Luna is <sighs> shining so bright. And Diana and I were just talking on the beach and I was falling asleep because it's just so cozy and the air is so still and warm. And also because I've not gotten sleep for the past <laughs> two days. Um, <laughs> but it's so beautiful and I just can't believe how bright the moon is, especially coming from New York. Like, I, if I'm lucky if I see one star, so seeing the moon illuminate everything. I could read a book right now under this moonlight and mm -hmm. I just feel like I'm on the edge of the universe and just floating in the cosmos and um, it just felt really good to say some prayers. Sorry, I'm staring into the viewfinder right now. Let me look at the lens. But it just felt really good to say some prayers and speak so many beautiful, wonderful things out and have intentional conversations. Really touch those deeper layers within and drop into meditation. So yeah, we're gonna get ready for bed. What um, else do you have in here? I don't know. Mrs. Can you look at the cookie? <laughs> oh my god. I think they're in the front passenger seat. Did you look there? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you sad? I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. Uh -huh. mm. I love having my ear against someone's head when they're chewing. Like hearing Really? That. It's like ASMR. ASMR. Auditory sensory meridian response. Mm. Oh! <laughs> We came home early from our camping trip and I finally got a good night's rest. You guys, I feel so good. I slept in till 10.30, which was crazy. But this morning, my friend Teddy just dropped off this really sweet beginner board from Costco. I am a beginner and this is my very first board and it's definitely really easy to balance on this and stand up and pop up on waves, but I think that it's really important that I just build the confidence and learn how to do different tricks with a board like this. And I'm so excited! <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful day, it's a beautiful morning. I know for so many of you, it's probably like, oh, it's so easy for you to say that because look at where you are. And I agree, but I would not have arrived at this moment, at this place, at this energetic place of peace and serenity within me if I had not expressed gratitude for all the other moments that I existed in prior, even when I was 
on my mom's floor working at Zara or just in the depths of my depression like I have been grateful for every step of my journey and there's no point in invalidating the gratitude I have now just because everything around me is beautiful because the strength of my gratitude and surrender and bliss and joy from all the little things in life was just as potent and um, I attracted this reality. So you're in a place of lacking or you're just not happy where you are, find little beautiful things to be grateful for because I guarantee you there are so many even just being able to have internet and watch this video is a blessing being able to have enough a further enough education to understand what I'm saying and read a good book and have access to fresh water and have a healthy body all these things are such immense blessings that not everyone is so lucky to have and sometimes in the morning I like to wake up and ask or I just Firm, how lucky am I and then I just kind of like list off all the things I'm so grateful to feel and receive and I'll feel that gratitude deep into my bones anything that takes me out of the present moment uh, it's, it's fully returned when I just realize the fullness of right now and all of the gifts and blessings and yeah last night I just felt like my guides and my spirits and ancestors are really present and here with me during this time on this island because I've been dropping into such deep meditations and entering the quantum field. If you read Supernatural by Dr. Joe Dispenza, you'll get what I'm saying. But fully just entering a space where I can create everything for the very first time. My dad always does Tai Chi in the mornings. I have like fond memories of just watching him move in this way. And lately I've been getting these visions of the mountains in Kyoto and Okinawa and just visions of different people that could be in my family lineage within my ancestry but I'm not fully sure and visions of myself meditating and it almost seems like I'm being called to some sort of journey or quest there walking on that earth meditating and I think that that's one of the ways that our ancestors speak to us by like dropping these random visions in our head or even different thoughts or like intuitive impulses sometimes it's not just born within us it's like literally dropped into us from our guides I really like to honor those thoughts I write them down and um, also just keep kind of feeding into them and keep entering that space where I'm like empty so that those kinds of messages and intuitions can drop in and I have no idea when I would go to Japan but it just makes me want to continue practicing Japanese um, I really want to learn Tai Chi now it's about time I think connecting to the land that you're from that your ancestry is from is so powerful and when I did go to Japan as an adult it felt like home just that indescribable feeling and sense that you have arrived home and that you are safe and that everything is somewhat familiar even though i had no recollection of japan from my childhood and especially being in vipassana in kyoto it was like so powerful a few mornings in a row i heard the loudest monastic chanting voices just chanting ohm and it was like waves of ohm and it was so loud in my ear that my ears were almost vibrating and if you know vipassana it's like a silent 10 day meditation so i was like i almost wanted to ask like does anyone else hear that chanting like there must be a monastery or something nearby and then after i asked my partner and he was like i didn't hear anything we're in the middle of the woods like i don't think anyone was chanting and it was just so wild and I, I reflect on that a lot because sometimes I'll hear random like chanting in my head only when I'm very in very deep states of meditation I'll be able to just hear like I guess the vibrational frequency of my own body and the things around me with much more clarity so yeah I think that there is so much for me to explore going back to where my roots are from and um Something about that just feels really safe and really real and necessary. So we'll see whenever that happens. For right now, <laughs> I just want to keep calling in the messages. And I think during full moons is a great time to do that. Is 
even just to ask for guidance because I feel like all of our angels and guides, my mom always used to tell me this, that our angels are just waiting for us to call upon them. They, they won't help us until we ask. And for a lot of people, they don't ask until they've kind of hit rock bottom. But if you just ask on a day-to-day -day basis, like, please show me guidance, show me miracles, support me, give me the intuitive knowing that I need right now and bless and protect all the members of my family, bless and protect all beings everywhere. May they have a moment of hope. May they have a nourishing meal today. You know, anything that you feel called to ask for, um, you can do it at any time and do it when you're happy, do it when you're melancholy, do it every single day. And that's why I love praying before I eat food because it's like I eat three times a day so I'm praying three times a day and calling upon just different frequencies and helping to bless other people and hope that other people receive nourishment that I'm receiving. The thoughts in your head are not random and listen to them, honor them. I always say if you have trouble toning out the negative thoughts in your head, just instead focus your awareness way more on the positive thoughts and the negative ones will show up less and less because you're not giving energy to them so why would they continue to show up it's just like that one fuck boy who keeps sliding into your dms or into your text messages like the more you ignore them the less that they show up and eventually they just peace out because they get the vibe so do that with your negative thoughts don't send them long paragraphs don't try to explain just block and delete you know it's 2020 <laughs> anyways interesting i've definitely i have such vivid dreams most nights but lately i've been dreaming of random people in my life from my past specifically different men and i think that a lot of guys that i've <laughs> hooked up with or slept with or had some sort of connection with they just are still lingering in my psyche because there's their energy is maybe like still within me in some way you know because like with this body that i have i feel like i absorb the energy of like anytime I'm penetrated basically I'm like taking on another person's energy and it's really present and so I've just been like allowing myself to forget my dreams lately because um those people aren't really serving me I just made some green tea and I'm gonna add some almond milk and I'm gonna put some sunscreen on sunscreen is so important I put it on like three times a day basically living here and I'm still getting tan I used to always think you can't get tan if you have sunscreen on but you can and it's so worth it to protect your skin so this is just a psa please wear a sunscreen your future self will thank you and i've been using the burst sunscreen it has zinc and it also protects against i think different um radiation from like computer screens which is really nice so i put that on my face and neck and then i just use random like 50 spf everywhere else cheers to the morning and another beautiful day full of gifts miracles abundance joy blessings and another opportunity to connect to the deepest part of your knowing like you never have before. My heart is so full.